Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and I'm back again today with a really special treat. Guess what I have for you? Oh, holy shit! LJN is back! Dan Classic is back! Raz Holly hit the muse! How dare you get so excited about these new so-called LJNs when they've got the nerve! to feature those skinny freaks. I mean, where's Hulk Hogan? Where's Billy Jack Haynes? Where's Corporal Kirchner? Corporal Kirchner? What, what the fuck are you doing back here again? When I heard that you was reviewing these abominations to history, I had a duty to answer the call. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the World Wrestling Federation. Oh, shut the fuck up and let me review the figures, will ya? Fine, but I'll be watching you, fat boy. Anyway, we're taking a look at the LJN Young Bucks figures. Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We've got the Young Bucks tag team. Twist them and turn them into different wrestling holds. It looks pretty much just like the packaging from back in the 80s, um, except here we are. You've got Nick and Matt Jackson. Um, I really can't fit this in the camera. I'm going to do some pictures here to show you uh, what it looks like. You've got um, the guy with the Alvin and the Chipmunk shirt on in the front row, just like you did back in the day. Uh, cowboy with the bolo tie. And uh, what the fuck is this? Is that a lighter? I mean, like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this thing right here? Is that guy, is he trying to light fucking Nick Jackson's nuts up on fire? Anyway, if you turn it around, You'll see on the back, it says Young Bucks Tag Team and the Twist Them and Turn Them thing again. And you've got file cards. Here we are. Uh, Nick, Slick Nick Jackson. Born July 28, 1989, Rancho Cucamonga, California. 5'11", 195. Signature move, super kick. Also, March 13th, 85, for Matt Mr. Instant Replay Jackson. He's 5'10", 195, and super kick the same. Also from Rancho Cucamonga, California. These are cool, like not a lot of text and um, you know whatnot going on on the file card. I would have liked a little bit more maybe on there. Um, the posters, does anybody know if the posters came with the tag teams? Um, Cause I don't think these come with the posters. But uh, these do come with these with these file cards that you can cut out and collect. Or if you're a big booger eater, you can just leave everything inside the box. So I'm gonna open this up because I'm not a booger eater. So here we go. I can't believe they made such drastic changes to the packaging. What the fuck are you talking about? The packaging is exactly the same. Behind the figure, it's supposed to be white. Are you fucking kidding me? It hardly makes any difference at all. Jesse can tell you. Jesse, wh where the fuck is Jesse anyway? How the hell am I supposed to know, you socialist slime ball? It don't matter though. I've got a co-host for you that ain't afraid to tell it like it is. He's had success in every aspect of his career. And forget Governor. Oh man, this guy's done something that Jesse could never do. Oh no, no, no. He's the two-time WWE Champion, AJ Styles. 
Hey y'all, I'm here to make the Dan Classic Show great again. Well, that's a tall order, champ! The Dan Classic Show never was great to begin with! <laughs> yeah, I'm here to set things back on course, drain the swamp, tell it like it is, and entertain the community? What community? The online community! What community do you think I was talking about? Let me open up these fucking figures and get on with the review! So here they are, out of the package. You've got Nick on the left, Matt on the right, the Young Bucks. And what can I say? They look like LJNs. They're a little bit shiny. They remind me a little bit more of the Jax Pacific uh, LJN style figures um, that we had maybe 10 years ago. And that's not necessarily a bad thing um, because these aren't sticky or stink like that Stone Cold that I opened up. And, and by the way, still stinks, still sticky, that Stone Cold. I still got them, I didn't throw them away, but... And so here's the million dollar question. How do these figures stack up size-wise next to, say, LJN figures? Well, luckily, I've got a fucking buttload of LJN figures, and here it is. Here's Hulk Hogan. Um, so, yeah, looks like they don't really, yeah, the Young Bucks really aren't that tall. These aren't in necessarily scale with your old LJN figures. If you have your old LJN figures and you want to display these next to them, um, most of you hate the Young Bucks so much that you wouldn't want to display them next to Hulk Hogan and and Macho Man Randy Savage and, uh, and all of your, your heroes of the past. So it doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, these are new figures and they're made in the LJN style. Maybe I'm being a little bit too forgiving of them. I wish they were a little bit better. Um, I think the facial sculpts, let's take Hogan out of here for a second. Um, they're okay. Um, they're, they're pretty intense. Um, these are better than let's say your modern WWE retros um, where they have the weird facial expressions on them. Um, I've had my own problems with those. Um, the shininess, it's not too bad. I mean, they look like toys. They are rubbery, like the old school LJNs. These stand up pretty good. Um, they, you know, they do the pose. They kind of do what they're supposed to do. And I think what they were really, you know, planning on people doing was keeping these damn things in the boxes. Um, so in the box, they're not so bad, and you don't really notice how much bigger they might be than the um, than you know your old school LJNs. Um, you know, these were great, but these were made at a time when you know they the, the people that made toys gave more of a shit. And it was LJN for crying out loud. They weren't like the most high quality fucking, you know, uh, video game maker. So it, when it comes to the toys, I think we got pretty much very lucky. At the end of the day, these are pretty cool figures. They, they pose very well. They're gonna look, if you're a fan of the Young Bucks, they're gonna look good on your desk. They're gonna look good on a shelf. They're gonna look good in the box. Um, the box is pretty much identical to the old school box with the exception of the the white background on the uh, you know the, the plastic in the back I mean but who gives a shit um, besides that these are pretty much identical um, as far as the packaging packaging and presentation is concerned um, and you know what for a you know first run at these things if we if they keep making them they're only gonna get better so I, for one, am pretty happy to own these. I'm glad I got them um, before, you know, they, they hit eBay and uh, guys like uh, Mo are selling them for, you know, hundreds of goddamn dollars. Well, that's it for now. I, for one, am glad that LJN is back and hopefully we'll get even more figures in this modern line. Maybe some figures here, you know, come see, come saw. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? That's really offensive, AJ. Uh, I was, I was, I was taken out of context, right? I, I, I was hacked. I was hacked. That's right. Hacked. Ah, uh, just get the fuck out of here, you sorry excuse for a co-host. Anyway, that's it for now. Be sure to like, subscribe, and if you're a part of the wrestling fan community... What community? Get the fuck out of here! God. Uh, anyway, 
If you like wrestling, go check out me, yours truly, and my good buddy, Brian the Mark, on the Crooked Bridge Wrestling Podcast channel here on YouTube. Link's in the description, and we're talking all about pro wrestling. You guessed it. Anyway, that's all for now. Raz Holly, hit the music!